Yes. Sis, listen, I've just had a thought. When was the last time you cooked Christmas dinner? I just want to check on my tech. Ah! Why is it burnt? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God! That looks like grout. <laughs> what is that? It's been a while. It, it has. has. Yeah, yeah, it, has. Yeah. it has been a while. You know what? I'll take care of business. Hang on, before you go, because we're a man down this year, Craig's not with us, I thought I'd take the liberty of inviting a special guest along. Oh, yeah? Who? He's a celebrity chef. Yeah. He's got three double-A rosettes to his name, so nothing to be intimidated by. I'm not intimidated. I don't know what a double-A rosette is. Luckily, Otis had some of the latest tech on hand to help him rustle up his feast, alongside a healthy portion of corner cutting. Now, what John and Georgie don't know is that this year I'm taking all the stress out of Christmas dinner preparation by using this. Otis had his hands on the Anova Precision, a roasting, toasting, baking and boiling countertop oven which could be controlled by an app and had a built-in water tank to help keep Christmas roasts nice and moist. I have selected a very nice recipe to prepare this turkey and we're going in. We want to start preheating, so I'm just going to tap that. Yeah. The next step, prepare flavour liquid injection. Yeah. It's all right. To give his Christmas bird that extra special flair, Otis pop. had loaded his meat injector inject. with a pre-prepared brine made from stock and sherry vinegar. And inject. Oh, there look all the flavours coming through now before he finished it off with the ultimate shortcut, seasoning ground by battery power. So, solid to first. There we are. Right. Transfer to the oven and cook until the probe reaches its target temperature. Probe into the meatiest part of the bird. So with his turkey in the oven, Otis now had to turn his attention to his veg, starting with roasting his spuds in an air fryer with automated heat control. It has begun. Back in the drawing room, John had started to prepare some Christmas fare of his own with the help of the pint or two, a 10 pint capacity DIY home brewing kit. Open the lid, pouring the water up to the fill line. Then I add my concentrate. What flavour have you gone for? I've gone for Space Hopper IPA. Should be nice and citrusy and hoppy, I think. Lovely. Right, next, the yeast. OK, then put the lid on. Relatively simple. Entry in the lid. Make it look more like a keg. Yep. Then we turn it over onto its side, turning up the uh, carbonation with the control on the bottom. And then what we do is shake it horizontally. And I shake it side to side. Well done. For 10 seconds. Mm. And uh, then leave it for eight days brewing and conditioning, they recommend. But we can save this for later because in time on a tradition, here's what I made earlier. Mm. So let's. Uh... Well, I think once that's settled, that'll be a nice, that'll be a nice pint. What good colour? Mmm, it actually, actually tastes OK. Merry Christmas, John. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Mm. The Christmas dinner traditions were shaping up nicely. The drinks had been poorly poured, the turkey was still only half cooked, and so what better time for their guests to arrive with a rumbling tummy? Ooh, who's that? Mm, let's see. Alexa, show me Hey Smart Doorbell. OK. Ooh. Ah! It's our special guest. It is, isn't it? Mm. Ready and waiting for us. Wait for me, John. Happy Hi. Christmas. Wonderful to see you. Come on in. Stage one, cook has been completed. Probe target has been reached. We are crisping. And only five minutes of crisping. Right, uh, carrots. This is the vegetable splitter from Gefu. Select the style of cutting that you want. We're going to go for quarters because it's carrots, in it? Uh, and then all you do is you pop your carrot in. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Make sure everything is aligned, and then... There we are. OK. Alarm! My turkey's ready! Your food is ready, the oven is still running. Don't forget to remove your food. Stop. Listen to that sizzle. Ooh. I've got to say, um, this has been the least chaotic 
Christmas dinner cooking session I've ever experienced. Otis, yes. you'll remember Alex, the man with a groaning sideboard full of awards for his cooking. Well, he's joining us for lunch. Great. There's more gadgets than there is food here. Should I be worried? No, 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 no. Have faith in the tech, because I have. Well, let's leave Otis to finish things off. I'm going to get you a little aperitif. Oh, yes, please drink. From the looks of things, I will need it. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> OK, so this is the Drinkworks Home Bar, and I've got a selection of three different cocktails here for you. Now, Alex, picture your coffee machine at home... I'm there. ..that uses a pod. Yep. This is a cocktail machine that works in a similar fashion. What is so this you... witchcraft? Uh, isn't it? I oh, know, it's so cool. What cocktail can I tempt you with? Um, I mean, let's try a Mai Tai. It's a party let's... drink. It feels like an occasion for celebration ahead of the meal of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> The automated drinks machine claimed to create chilled and carbonated cocktails in less than a minute, all from the touch of a button. No shaking required. Here you go, good sir. Your Mai Tai Thank is you. prepared. Thank you. Cheers to that. Speechless? Uh, it doesn't really taste of any discernible flavour. Ah. Sort of miscellaneous fruit, but um, and it was very easy. John, can I get you one? Yes. What flavour would you like? We've got margarita, Ooh. we've got peach sangria. And with a selection of over 20 drinks on offer, John would soon have a tasty tipple of his very own. John looks unsure. I'm not sure John's ever had a margarita before. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we take a seat? Cos it smells like Otis is almost ready to serve up lunch. Cheers. Very Merry Christmas. And you all. Spirits were high and it was time for the main event, Christmas dinner. But could Otis and his arsenal of culinary tech be able to satisfy his chef guest, who featured in the Michelin Guide? Right. Well, it's, um... It looks cooked. Dry? It's cooked. Um... Yes? Otis, you... are you forgetting me? Guys, someone? come on, it's Christmas! How could I forget you oh, two? Good. Hey? <laughs> in the spirit of reducing effort in the kitchen, you've got a pasta something and you've got shepherd's pie. Ah. Oh. We haven't even bothered taking it out of the plastic container. Minimum effort. That's what this is all nice. about. Bon appetit! <laughs> I think you've achieved it. With your robot fleet, you've achieved an edible... Yes. ..attempt at Christmas lunch. Do and you know for that, I can give nothing but my eternal gratitude. Thank you. And with minimal effort. Minimal effort. It really was... You made me feel so special. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs>